damn memories. <laughs> I know, I'm... I'm actually excited to play through all the way through this. <laughs> Up to first level. Situation, Snake. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. Thought this was no so cool. Be able to hear yeah, the, this. Got it. I thought okay. I was like, how does I'm that work? The small bones of your ear, like, I was like, is there actually science behind this? I'm so impressed. All right, oh, I do have to change one thing. I need to switch this to analog mode. <laughs> Yay! A game I can join. <laughs> Yep, Resident Evil Village is all done. Welcome, sir. Welcome. What am I playing on? I am playing on a PS3. I am playing the original PS1 disc on a on a PS3. I don't remember guard patterns at all. I just know hide in the corner. New perturbator and per um, shockingly, it's mature and not loud. Very post punkish. The OG disc, yeah. Um, all old. <laughs> I mean, sadly, yes. I don't have like the original original, but I've got, I've got the. Uh, oh God. Flexions. Got the greatest hits one. Good enough. So that way I'm not confused when uh, I need that. I need the frequency off the back of the CD case. It's closer to the original than Green Label, isn't it? I don't know. I'd have to see like the actual like printing date of the disc. I could go for that extra ration, but Originally I never um I didn't have this game for the PS1. Um, because... Oh, fuck. Well... <laughs> I didn't hide well enough. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I should have taken out the guards. That's my fault. Yeah, you need to sit all the way in the corner, otherwise the guards will see you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> already. I know. Who dies? Who dies in the warehouse? Pfft. Oh, God. I almost got seen right there. There. All I'm saying is this album so far is some certified chilled heat. I'm going to listen to it after the stream, probably. How many rations am I allowed to have? Two on hard? So I've already got both. I don't want to listen to this call. No, oh, don't call him back. Wait, like you, you just hide right here. You won't be spotted. But yeah, I've it's gotten to the point where I've completely lost all concept of guard rotations and Obviously, we'll be able to figure it out, but. Good. Yep, time has, time has taken that from me. It's probably been, it's been even longer since I've played two and three. I think when I was just feeling nostalgic Whenever that was five, when I had my PS3 still, because this was, um, I gave this to my brother to borrow for a few years since his broke. All right, let's not get shot again. Clear. Oh. Oh. Where is this dude? If he should be a model. That's that's too much praise. We know that's not true. All right, here we are. The most cinematic face reveal in all of games in 1998. <laughs> it's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. That took a long time. I guess you're feeling a little rusty. <laughs> Don't worry. It's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? Debated choir of wolves. Dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? 
By the way, how's the diversionary operation? Going? Also, welcome, Craft. Two F-16s just took off. From good Goya to have you. Are your Hope way. you're having a good day. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. I don't know what conversation we'll get out of Mei Ling. Oh, she won't go through the whole Soliton radar system. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing? I have no idea. I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. On a school bus in a, um, on a school bus on an excursion with my kids' class, the art gallery. Wow, well, well, you're on the way to an art gallery and you're watching art at the same time. That? Oh, Fancy sorry. that. Sorry, I haven't introduced you to yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either I don't have a radar system. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering Snake, me. Snake, you dog. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Yeah. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar. So contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're yes, we did get it working. Call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. <laughs> I was call very happy. If you want me to got another HDMI splitter. Is. My frequency and is And that did the trick. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Oh, man. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. <laughs> HR, my chick. Give me 1990s vibes with this. I know it's. Uh, if you want to get in, there's the front. At one point, door. it's almost like tough to look at now, just because the, the graphics way, are so basic. Being spotted by the enemy, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. Pineapples, five, 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 sixers, five, sixers, and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. All right, first we're going to save. Maybe. Oh, hold on. <laughs> I sat there for so long, the controller shut itself off. You caught Snake? All right, we will put our file here. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. 
You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China, but I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. I said, don't you get a, don't get a choice truth, anyway. I'd like to learn more about you. <laughs> well, I'll think about it. I weirdly like the way it looks. Love how detailed in Western Snake's art style is, and the chicks are very 90s anime. Well, he's, you know, he's supposed to be, uh, you know. Wait. Every time the uh, controller shuts off, it will turn off analog mode, so I gotta remember that. What? Did I not save that? Analog. Enter. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Degal never said that. Oh, I did not know that. I I mean, hey, they could have fooled me. They did. Um, did you ever do Twin Snakes to see the difference how they directed the cinematics? I I have played the Twin Snakes. It's it's um. How how do I want to put that? It's kind of garbage. <laughs> Let's see if we can bait him. Whose footprints are these? Actually, let's do it this way. A surveillance camera? Oh my god. The technology. Oh god. Oh! You'll never get me in here. Will that work? Ah! Well. <laughs> no. Snake. Also, anybody hasn't seen it, David Hayer slash Snake was the lead of a shit 90s series called Giver. I am aware of Giver. First, we had Mark fucking Hamill as a co star. That it did. Alright. No more screwing around. So, the beginning of this is going to be rough. I, I knew that going in. Oh, God. The sweet, sweet shaft grenades. <laughs> You're one of the few, honestly, and that movie and The Fly is what got me into horror. I've I've seen both of those. A friend of mine was uh, a childhood friend was the one who was super into Giver. I think he'll just go back this way eventually. Oh, he, oh, load, he's coming. Damn. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Oh man, I'm terrible. Okay? It's okay. Snake? It's okay. Snake? We're gonna, we're shaking off years and years of rust at this point. Probably should have gone for basic bitch normal. That's okay. I saw Giver at the rental store and never picked it up. <laughs> I know what that clip is. 
Or is it easy to find that online? Actually, let's just go. Well, he's down there. A surveillance camera? The snake's like so offended that there's a surveillance camera there. All right, where is this guard? There he is, okay. Only died twice. <laughs> oh. First half is like a bad Ninja Turtles, Turtles cyberpunk 90s film, and the second half becomes fucking Cronenberg body horror with humans becoming roaches and shit. Death counter 2. Oh, man. Wow. I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about Saru, the do you here. do you know I the story of the game? Use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Because if you don't, I will. Well, um, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I'll leave out some of the spoiler stuff if you. if that's so the case. If you have any questions about the floor I mean, as much as I can for a, a 1998 game. Of course. Campbell told me about the situation here. <laughs> yeah. God, there's like barely any pressure sensitivity in the sticks, so like you can you could do it to a degree. It's just super weird and awkward to do. You don't mind the spoilers? Well, if we won't talk about that one. Then. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. They're about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation. Keep an eye on that woman in the Shut cell. Those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. Yeah, this is actually... As I just said, like, the most normal game in the series. Two gets really weird. The NES games, they're a little, they're a little more silly, just because like they literally didn't have the technology. I've never actually played all the way through the the old games. Should probably keep rations equipped. Why keep dying? Even five is pretty grounded, minus the mother base thing. Okay, outside the first mission. But they explain it. <laughs> kind of. 
Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. But Moby Dick and unicorns. Yeah, see, and then the man on fire. So the fun thing is, there's no way to slow walk in this game, so if you want to be quiet while walking on these metal floors, you have to crawl. Um, now, we didn't need to use a shaft grenade, but why not, since we had literally another pickup. Thermal goggles, really useful item. I think if the guards are directly below you um, when you are running on this floor, they will hear it. Yeah, my elevator. I, I can't really use this. Oh my gosh, I hit him before he got up. You know what? Fuck it. Actually, we should probably run away. That man had a family. Meanwhile, that guy over there is just, you know. Yeah, the shaft grenade has a great no great sound. <laughs> and the no there's no look a little down, it's just down. You get, you know, eight directions or whatever it is, and that's all you get. Wait. Who's that? KV, I gotta go stream. Oh, well. You can always watch the VOD later. You wanna see this riveting story of me dying 15 times? At least. Snake, if you wanna go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Uh, actually. Let me, let me be. For those in chat that don't follow Root already, which I know is probably a good portion of you, that is his channel. Uh, he's been doing a lot of point and clicks lately, and Rudy's a good time. He's a very high energy streamer, and more so than me, for absolute certain. <laughs> and uh, yeah, give him a follow, give him a watch. I would highly recommend. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Uber. Oh, man. It's the nostalgia hitting you right in the feels. See, did I miss anything? Oh, I missed uh, Heather's comment. My brother has shitty cable, but he's stoked you're playing his one of his one of his top games. <laughs> the nostalgia right in the testicles. Is that a woman? Not him. Not him. So I never knew this when the first time I pl was playing the game, but um, watching various playthroughs, if you go in and out of the, the vents here. A bunch of times she does different exercise positions and if you do it enough time she has no pants on at one point just FYI I've never done that myself and I'm not going to right now <laughs> it's not that kind of playthrough Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area isn't there some place to drop down take a look around in first person view mode Donald Anderson, right? I never got how he <laughs> was planning on getting him out of this jail cell. I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Like you just dropped into a locked cell. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Okay? We're conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between Arms Tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warheads they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? <laughs> A serious conversation just gets interrupted by that. <laughs> But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course, there is a PAL. 
It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of arms tech. That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... They found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's tooth. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key? So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? You're asking too many free. questions, Donald. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to For those to in the, the know, file. why doesn't anything you happen to his body after this? Charge of this op, <laughs> Asking the real questions here. I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Johnny getting his ass whooped by Merrill. This is a really cool touch. Actually see her walk past. 
Also, if you have not picked up the SOCOM, uh, the cutscene changes. Don't move! So you killed the chief, you bastard! Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move! Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. He's weak, arms heavy. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful, I'm no rookie. Liar. That nervous glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie! You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think! Shoot! Uh. Oh, wrong button. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! How did that work? Give me that ammo. Good job, Meryl. I thought you could get by in the back. Love it. Thanks for the help. Wait. Who are you? You fool. You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. First time I played it, I totally miss this detail. Just buries the entire mag. Good girl. Just like that. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. How many times can you say psychic in the same sentence? This isn't on Steam, is it? Uh, no, but um, you can get this on PC if you um, 
I know I've mentioned it before. It's on the uh, GOG store. Um, I had thought about playing that version, but since I had access to the you know the PS1 disc, um, also. <laughs> I think he has pants on in the Japanese version, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, so, yeah, GOG has it. Um, it's labeled as... It's like the... It is the actual PC release. So, I think it's like Metal Gear Solid Integral. Is the like the actual name of it, but I think they just rebranded it as Metal Gear Solid. But, yeah, I bought that and... Uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 on the GOG store just to have them. I was trying to figure out what, you know, would it be better to play through as much as I could on the PC versus uh, on the PS3? And most say that, you know, the PS3 is the way to go. Although I had all the fun with the capture card and everything, so there's that. Wait, are there guards in here the first time through? I can't even remember. I feel like there are. There may not be because you have to use you have to use C4. This is just so calm ammo, I believe. Should be the C4. Alright, so there's two indicators on where the wall is. You know, so the, the wall is being painted a different color. Let me get back a little further. Like that. And two. If we go. They make a different sound. What can I do? I, don't, I probably don't need to save, but... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. It's just melee quotes. I didn't mean to skip it, though. And then there is a one more room over here. I don't even know if there's anything worth getting in there. We'll have a look. I can't remember. There are cameras in here, though. That's for much later. Alrighty. Am I too late? He's 
alive. You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? <sighs> don't worry, I'm here to save you. Uh, no, no, don't touch it. C4. Operations Foxhound. Revolver Ocelot. Man's got I've been skills. For you, solid snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! I would love to sell you. Quit running away from me. <laughs> sure, it's taking a lot more than six bullets. Well, it takes more than six bullets to shoot through my plot armor. Oh, excuse me? I'm not hiding. Wait a minute. What? Why am I not getting... Oh my gosh. Usually that will auto-aim from that distance. Give me the old reverse. I think if you have stun grenades, you can also do that. Do I have any? Yeah, I don't want to throw any explosives. That'll be dumb. Shut up, Baker. Nice of them to give us free ammo so you can't soft lock. Now that is quality game design.
Got him. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> Even the the cyborg ninja was so creepy to me. Can you talk? Just him freaking out like that. Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Ooh. Are you sure you heard him right? A little yeah, contradiction sure. there. In that case, how did they get your code? I never had any training on how to resist torture. <coughs> it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha, huh. you're a funny man. So the DARPA chief, is he okay? Dead. What? I can't be. You know, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists? No, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Codec. Until I was tied up here, that is. Codec? Yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let, let me tell you, it's... <laughs> oh, oh Boomer. Boomer I Baker thought... memory. Damn! Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? The team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. 
If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real Roll that to beautiful nuke stuff. footage. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands muff. for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes, and after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. Bribes. I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. You know him? You should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Bastards! So, they, they actually went and did it! What are you talking about? They, they, they're just using you for... Uh, uh. 
shouldn't have had all that hot sauce on your burrito, Kenneth. What the hell? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. We have the tiniest increase of health. Um, I don't think any of the doors that are back here are level two. I think it's just everything that was in the main room. Wait, this is level six, no, four. Oh. Six. All right, so now that we're back in this area, I believe now it, it, that is populated with guards. There you go. The mass. The funny thing is that's entirely possible to miss. Oop, card. That's gonna get me so many times. Oh wow, he actually was just... okay. I'm probably dead here. Oh, Alright, be a little more careful. I couldn't remember if the guards had rotated all the way down to the bottom floor or bottom row. All right, we'll grab the FAMAS and go a little quicker this time.
you hit the button twice, it goes quicker. Interestingly enough. All right, now it's time to call Meryl. Which the fun thing is, if you if you have the the physical edition of the game, it's kind of hard to see, probably, but it's um, yeah, the reflection's gonna screw it up. Oh well, it's on the back of the case for the game, which is super cool and like fourth wall breaking and all that, but just a fun little thing. You? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Snake just hits oh, on everything just he what sees. I expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah, you know him. You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right, for the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Foxhound and the Next Generation Special Forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush-hush. But we must have fired nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because this was to be a final test before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard, anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep him hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? Yes. Is he still alive? Probably. He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. Oh. 
What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You're totally you green. Pause for look, just at, one look at the screen. Your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. But when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after for about grab five the doctor, minutes. She will be. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Sometimes you can't catch them just right. <laughs> Could have very easily gotten spotted there. You can kind of skip this whole scenario by... Um... By going down to the bottom or going down to the basement again. Oh, she did open it. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. All right, she opens that up for us. We have the thermal goggles. Otherwise, we'd have to use the uh, cigarettes. My camera in here? No.
Cardboard box A and some more chaff grenades. So there is a level 2 door. I can't remember what's in it, though. Or if it's worth going all the way around for. We could try and use their suppressor on this guy. So now we're in a little bit of a pickle, uh, as I can't see out that door. So we're just gonna have to guess. Is there anything under this table? Or can we even get under it? I can't remember. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Okay. Get in quick enough. Yeah. How did you get up here so quick? I was just like about to look, like, where's the next one? Are you running this way? Oh, God. All right, we'll wait till he comes back this way, and then... Um See if we can go by sound. Turned around at the perfect time. All right, so what I think we'll do this time is we're going to just go ahead and run up there, get the cardboard box. Mine detector is not really all that useful because you have the, um, where are you? So you don't see me. But yeah, the thermal goggles work just as, as well as the mine detector, if not better. It's so not a necessary item to get.
At least I thought that worked. Maybe we have to go to both floors or something. Otherwise, we can just hang out under this tank. Oh, wait, we didn't even call Meryl. Ha <laughs> ha. Who are you? We already went through this conversation. I don't think we need to, to hear it again. So yeah, if I had if I had gone through this conversation and then gone down to the second floor basement or first floor basement, I think um, it instantly will will open the door. This is before they had. Uh, you know, fast skipping. They didn't introduce, you know, skipping in the entire conversation until the second game. Once he passes, we'll try the elevator trick. I'm trying to remember if the first time I played through this was on uh, like the standard PS1 controller or it was on a DualShock. And I really can't remember. I want to say it was a DualShock though. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait! You said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. All right, he's all the way back there, so we have time to run in here. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. Just the you double reminder. You can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them, and the doors will seal off, and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. You called, Snake? I did call. Snake, like Shakespeare said, Nought's had all spent, while our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Well, that happened once. <laughs> <laughs> One more round, hello, sir. I didn't want to screw that up. But uh, welcome to some nostalgia feels. How am I doing? I'm doing well. 
I am very much enjoying being back to playing this game after I don't know how many years it's been. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen, there's a tank in front of your position waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. <laughs> did he say Deep Throat? He did. Wait, uh... One round, do you actually... This is actually a curiosity. Do you know about the Watergate scandal? What's that? Yeah, so... All right. Um, I'll try and give you the Cliff Notes version of it, but... You may want to look it up, but essentially Richard Nixon, um, one of the one of the the one of the presidents of the United States, uh, got in trouble for doing some some spying, <laughs> and um, the Watergate was a hotel that they did the spying from, and the uh, informant that eventually told on him was actually used the code name Deep Throat. So it actually is a real thing, and there's nothing sexual about it. But let's get to this boss fight. belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. Send him a message. That's right. You belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Come, let's fight. There's some light reading for you. Yeah, it's, it's very well known about in the U.S., but it occurred to me that, you know, you actually don't know. I'm gonna get it. Somehow I didn't get run over there. Hit myself with my own nade, I think. Oh, we got up just in time. So you can throw the shaft grenade to. Uh, oh, damn. Reagan was after. Nixon was in the 70s. Oh my gosh. Failing miserably at this fight right now. I gotta throw a shaft grenade. You can prevent the main gun from firing with the shaft. That one was better. Oh! Ow. Oh, no.
There we go. That's a good one. Totally fine. In those in, in, uh, invincibility frames. Can you not? Oh, this might be actually be close. Oh, we actually didn't get. Uh, is there another rash? Nope. It's actually pretty tough on hard. Well, of course it is, but. Reagan was probably my favorite U.S. president. Guy was hilarious. He was holding his piece until him popped a balloon. Goes, miss me? Well, I actually did attempt to. Uh, there was a, actually an assassination attempt on him. So. That's why it makes it even better. I know there are Claymore mines there. I'll ignore that call. What a guy. <laughs> I don't know. Feelings are, are mixed, uh, depending on your political leanings on, on Reagan. But uh, don't need to get into that. That barely hit me, but it counted. What a man snake is. Just casually taking tank rounds. Oh, we got him first try, too. I think. Nice. We shouldn't have gone for grenades. Should have gone for the rations. There. Do it. Ooh, that was actually pretty good. That one might. Oh, I thought that was going to do it, too. Oh, it did. That fight can be either really easy or very annoying.
just that tiny little sliver of health left. No problem. Our health gauge is getting a little more respectable. Not a lot, but just, just a little. Forest Kodak call here. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said. Totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. Her frequency is 141.52. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. I mean, they already forced me, so I can't. We'll call Nastasha. She's completely optional to call, actually. She'll tell she gives you information about weapons and stuff, but um yeah, you don't ever have to call her. This is Nastasha Romanenko. A pleasure to work with you, Solid Snake. You're the nuclear specialist that the colonel mentioned? That's me. You can ask me anything about nukes that you want. I am also a military analyst, so I have an extensive knowledge of weapon systems as well. They asked me to participate in this operation as a supervisor from the nuclear emergency search team. I was happy to accept. We must not allow terrorists to get their hands on nuclear weapons of any kind. I hope I can help you to stop them. You're a tough lady. Those terrorists are serious about launching a nuclear weapon? The world cannot stand by idly and allow that to happen, and neither can I. Unfortunately, all I can do from here is provide you with information. Hopefully that'll be enough. Another soldier here wouldn't make a difference anyway. It's good to work with you, Nastasha. Same here, Snake. So as you can see, no use, no use, no use. All right, so the, the guy we care about here is um, up on the second floor. Nothing going on here. Just a cardboard box. Oh, really? Well, I'm dead. I thought he had turned around already. I was wrong. There's that lack of patience. <laughs> Would be significantly easier on normal, but uh, felt like it would have been more fun on hard. All right. I think I have to listen to this call again. Maybe not. Hey. Yeah, maybe I don't. Oh my gosh, get... Stupid. Uh, 
All right, we murdered him. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Well, you're gonna die just before this alert runs out too. We choked out the guy with the gas mask, which is good enough for me. I'm happy. Sorry, not we didn't choke him out. We we killed him. <laughs> I think Spotify is trolling me. You know how I don't have a phone? Right. Saying, like, listen on your phone. We'll do the same thing. Gave me an email saying, use too much cellular data? Turn on data saving mode. That is kind of mean. Why would they do that? Just a box. Just a box. Just moving that little bit. I couldn't remember if you could actually look around in it. Now we know. Lesson learned. Okay, we'll just wait for this dude to pass. I think we could potentially run up there after we... Let's try it. So what's the story here? Why are we in a top secret military thing? Are you, like, you actually don't know the story of this game? Um, we are trying to prevent terrorists from launching a nuclear warhead is the, you know, the premise that's set up. Piss guy. Look at him go. I was born in the year 2000. <laughs> I know nothing about these games. <laughs> All right, fair, fair, fair. So yes, we are the legendary soldiers, Salad Snake. And no, that's not supposed to be a euphemism. I think it's just a translation thing. Um, we get brought out of retirement to do this mission. Is there just one guard in here? Oh god, run, 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 run. Okay, he's going for a piss. So yes, officially we're here to stop them from um, viewing a nuclear launch. However, um, the space is actually being used to develop a um, walking, you know, a bipedal tank, or bipedal tank um, that can fire nuclear missiles. That's what Metal Gear is. Hey, 
And there's a lot of sci-fi vibe as well. Um, the... You know, enemy soldiers are... They all have, a, like, a, a very specific either gimmick or power. So... There's a guy who can, you know, actually read people's minds and take them over if he wants to. So there's a bit of sci-fi. It's it's a little bit out there from a, a storytelling perspective, but it's um for the time it was very very much more cinematic than other games that came out around, you know, the same time. Watch out, that place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Oh, I didn't answer his call Deep before. Throat. The informant from <laughs> the water gates. That's funny. All right, since I picked up the remote controlled missile earlier. Oh, no, 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 no. First try. made life a lot easier for ourselves. Um, there are a couple items in here. I can't remember if there are cameras. I think they're only, they might only be in the second room, but I'm not sure. Level one. Uh, I don't need any rations. Card four. I mean, this is considered to be one of the best games that had ever came out for the original PlayStation, I guess is another way to put it. I thought the gas mask was back here. I was wrong. I think we're dead. <laughs> oh yeah, but how about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2? Yeah, that would also be in that category. It's, you know, upper echelon of, of games that came out for the PS1. Um, <laughs> Glad I stopped talking. So somebody had a bad time in there. Clearly. Also... Fun little detail. I'll, I'll walk back in here in a second. Actually, I need to walk away for just a moment, but... Uh, oh, there's a gun on that door, so I can't do it. If you look at the door in first-person view, it says Hal's Lab. Hal Emmerich is the guy we're trying to uh, save at this point. But I'll be back in just a second.
<laughs> All right, sorry about that. I had to uh, see the lady off to uh, to work. Repots, repotes, <laughs> reports. Could be any of those. What's a high D? What's a Russian gumship doing here? Exactly. Colonel has no idea. Either way, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. All right, so as you can see, these guys have all had a really bad time. And we're about to find out why. It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. This is easily the creepiest part of the game, the first time through. So a couple of like interesting things here. Like this by this guy's still twitching. Secondly, the doors, you know, slash. This would normally be a level four door, but we have a level three card, so we can get in here courtesy of the cyborg ninja. Japanese animes. <laughs> I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, Japanese animes is kind of like um, make me feel alive again. kind of a redundant like because you say anime you kind of mean Japanese. Alright we can cheese a little bit. I also need this ration. Snake, you can't defeat me with a weapon like that. <laughs> oh, nice kick. He can kind of clip through. Only a fool 
Ooh, trust his life to a lemon. Nah. Ah, sometimes you can get him in a loop of doing that. This is probably going to be pretty difficult. I believe he can smash through that glass there, too. I'm about to get a flying kick to the face. Yep. <laughs> I knew it was coming. One round. Do you know Baker Girl? Yeah, she was here actually earlier. Apparently she doesn't like cereal with milk. Well, my brother was like that, or is like that. He might still be. He would just prefer to eat it dry, so it's not that unheard of. <laughs> yes. Snake. Yeah, I... I shouldn't have wasted all my rations. What's wrong with you Americans? I mean, now, probably make lots, me but... Feel it. Make me feel alive again. Oh, he completely whiffed. Nice. Ooh, that was close. That's good, Snake. Mo. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Ah, we have whiffed it. That's fine. Oh! I don't know why I'm even bothering picking up ammo right now. That's tough. When you can't see him, that's always the problem. says, uh, wonder if lactose intolerance is more common in the U.S.? Because I swear I've never met anyone with lactose intolerance. It very well could be. It depends. I, I don't know. I'm sure somebody has statistics for that. Yeah, I think it would have been a lot better if I hadn't wasted all my rations before. So this might be a little bit of a challenge here. I'm trying to think of where my last hard save was. I think it was right before I came uh, through the nuclear warhead storage building, but now make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. We'll see how we do. Life's full of small challenges anyway. That's good, Snake. Mm-hmm. 
missed the second hit on him. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand it is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted. Chaff. Please explode. <laughs> I got scared I was going to get kicked right there. Oh. Wow, how did I not immediately get kicked there? I was about to get hit there. Nope. That's not going to do it. Come on. Oh, we're going to get hit again. Always have to allow for enough room. I think there's a ration under the desk, or one of the desks. Probably don't have time to get it. weird. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. All right. Thermal goggles again. Well, we did better than I thought I would for the start that we got. So, lactose... <laughs> lactose does vary from country to country. Lactose intolerance is exceptionally widespread in Northern European countries, where something or approximately 10% of people lactose intolerance, while in the U.S. is 36%. There's, there you go. Today we learned. <laughs> Astro Machine Snake... It's a good way to enter. Welcome, and uh, thanks for stopping in. Hope you're having a good day. All right, round three. I just need to not leave myself on uh, now, at uh, like make me short feel ranges. Like make me feel alive again. Grab this ration. Why'd I do that? I guess in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand is the basis of all combat. 
Only a fool trusts his life to a leg. Oh, this is this is a wash. <laughs> in here. But take it easy one round and uh, thanks for stopping in. <laughs> Letting me stop by. Like you need permission to enter my channel. Ah, yeah, that was a bad one. <laughs> he just stomps on, he just stomps on my junk just to rub it in. No respect. I did throw a shaft grenade at him, so I probably deserve that. Probably immediately throw a shaft. Oh, he still got his kick off. Unfortunate, but hey, it's all right. Where'd you go? Nope. Uh, come on. Three punches. That's rare. Oh, no, we missed. Two hits. That's okay. Uh, I shouldn't bring myself in this corner. I knew it. I knew I was going to get a hit there. And we started off so well, too. down here. We gotta do a little bit of cheese here. I can't see him. This is bad. He didn't even try to hide there. I don't really want to go back and try and get rations or go back to the last hard save, but 
we'll we'll give it a few more shots. If we can't uh, if we can't do this perfectly, then we might be forced to. But we'll see what we can do. <laughs> All because of me thinking that the gas mask was available. Make me feel it. Make me feel alive. But it's not until you get out of here that you get card four. So I screwed up the order a little bit. That's good, Snake. Good. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand. It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts. That's fine. Got to keep him on the straightaways. playing mind games now. Oh, I was too early. Not too late. Ah, uh, okay. So we can't, we can't cheese that much. But hey, a free hit's a free hit. That was really close. Could throw a, sh a shaft at him. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> All right, one more try, and then we'll go uh, back and get some rations. I think if we just go outside, uh, it should be fine. I am really curious where I saved it, though. If it ends up being pretty far back, then now, make me feel what we'll do is me feel alive before next time, I'll make sure I get back to this fight and make sure I have the appropriate supplies to do this fight. Oh, my God. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. 
Oh, man. Yeah, I was never gonna get hit again. Somehow we... Somehow we can rally this. It'll be amazing, but... Confidence is not high at the moment. Really? to switch directions. We uh, cleaned up the timing a little bit on his uh, his drops. You know what? I say he's... Oh, God. Hurry up and catch me. I, usually I thought he just kind of sits. Clearly not. Okay, so this is where he goes. He walks at you slowly, and then he dodges your first punch. Twice. That's it. I remember that punch. I can't remember if he does a double fake or not. Thank you for doing the double. Zabar. What? Not again. What's happening?
Is it over? Gray Fox. Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says Just he died silence. In the I see. After but that first that question. Is Gray Fox. The question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. Poor Gray Fox. How long are you going to stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Liar! I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. 
It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <laughs> Damn. Damn! I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th. 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where is that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there, too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. Sometimes you forget how uh, how long the cutscenes are. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. Oh hell, you fool! If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh -huh. Okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! Meryl, what happened? 
Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? <laughs> Revolutionary gameplay. Staring at people's asses. If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. So all this footage is apparently from Police Knots, which I've never played. Or I, I believe it is. Then the poster's up on the wall. You're right. We have Actually, to take right there. Responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. You know what Greatest Pacino would say? I, uh, what would, what would Al Pacino say? Be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about <laughs> Great ass. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. It's funny how the, um, it's happened a couple times now, but, um, the cutscenes are so long that the controller, like, auto-powers off because you're not doing anything with it. <laughs> it's quite funny. Don't even think about using auto-fire, or I'll know. What I want to know is if anybody actually tried using a turbo controller in the, in the interrogation. Didn't we? Oh, because we died. Never mind. Um, wait. Well, I don't have the suppressor for the SOCOM. I can't remember where I picked it up, though. All right, we're going to save. We uh, put ourselves in quite the predicament before the Cyborg Ninja Speaking fight. Old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassa like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich too. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stopped making things. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever heard that conversation before. I know there is very, there's a lot of like context uh, sensitive uh, sort of things. 
that I I mean, there's probably a ton of it that I don't even know about. And that's the fun thing about Metal Gear is that you can always learn new things about it later on. It's it's super weird. Isn't it in the basement? Um, I I believe it's in the tank hangar. I want to say. We'll have to go back there eventually for the, the PSG-1. Or maybe I picked it up and I didn't attach it. That's certainly possible. I don't know. Oh, what I do know is I think I might be out of time for tonight because I don't... Because if I keep going for this, it's... We're going to have to go through Mantis. Also, I got to remember if there was another ration under one of these desks. I swear there was, but I have not saved often. Somewhat reckless. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking of like Metal Gear Solid 4, where there's a lot there's more room under the desks. Could be. It's that's the fun that's the other fun thing is that my memory has already betrayed me once. I, I spent I spent two rations that I didn't need to. We'll try I think we can grab the gas mask now. So we'll do that and then I think we'll Go ahead and call it, and we'll be geared up to uh, go say hi to Meryl slash Mantis. Oh, wait, I threw that too early. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Load times, what are those? Alright, I can't remember what's on this in this left hallway. We'll find out though. Okay, don't have that key. Probably wasting all my chaff right here. Akita missiles. Go, 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 go. We're fine. Whoa. That was oh okay, that was level six, and that's the body armor, which will really come in handy later. Makes a lot of the later boss fights simpler. All right, we can, and that ration's just not worth it. <laughs> We'll throw down another save, and I think we will call it for tonight. What's up, Snake? Mei Ling, how did you get into this line of work? The truth is, I always wanted to become a fighter pilot. I fell in love with jets watching them in the movies. 
You'd be surprised how many people say the same thing. But I didn't want to kill people. That's when I heard that the U.S. Air Force needed people to do BDAs, battle damage assessment. Those are the guys whose job it is to confirm how successful a bombing run was. Yeah, so I started to do research into aerial photography and air intelligence. I made it my major. But there are no pilots who only do BDAs. That's right. But by the time I learned that, I was already an expert in my field. Guns don't kill people. I kill people. <laughs> it's a great shirt. Alrighty. Well, three hours ish into Metal Gear Solid 1. We've it's been a little rough at, at certain moments. Um I've completely forgotten all the guard rotations, so doing it just so coming back to it after five plus years is probably uh, <laughs> not the best idea, but we're doing it anyway just for the uh, added challenge uh, since I've played this game I don't even know how many times over the years. So, um, so yeah, it's been fun, and I'm, I'm quite enjoying coming back to it. 